Hello friends, this is Mugsy Makes and I have a process video on a paper mache pumpkin that I just created. Stick around, check it out. Hi guys! Alright, so we're making a Halloween prop. It's going to be a paper mache uh, pumpkin head cross between like a Halloween jack-o'-lantern and something creepier. So I started out with these plastic balls filled with air is we're going to tape off so that you have the pumpkin shape once you release some air. Just going to do this with some duct tape. This just gives you a really good guide and we'll get started doing layers. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a while. Okay, I've got a couple layers of uh, paper mache on here over the last few days and um, I'm building up the raised areas on the pumpkins. I mixed up some new paper mache. I added red so that way it's a little bit easier to see where you have and have not gotten your paper so that we, you can do an even project. So I'll change this color a few times throughout. Right now what we're doing is we're building up the raised areas on the pumpkin. And what I'm using is some old cloth, paper towels, baby wipes that I use to clean up with art. Just kind of recycling them when building up these areas. I'm taking the whole paper towel, really drenching it in the paper mache, and then laying it. This will take a couple days to dry before we keep going. It's really important that each layer dries completely. You don't want to do all this work and then have rot start. I've had paper mache go bad. My first giant tree, I think it was probably about eight feet tall. Uh, I ended up having to uh, burn it in a, in a fire before we moved because we had problems with uh, mold. My husband and I ended up giving it a proper burial. And I've also made one of these pumpkin heads before. And uh, I just didn't make it thick enough as far as the, the paper mache. And when I cut out the face, I did it, I did it a little too wide, so he kind of uh, collapsed inside himself. I take my time now when I'm doing paper mache. If I'm going to do a big project, you know, I make sure that I don't try to rush. So I'm going to go around this guy do this and then we're going to dry probably for a couple days again before we start. So we've got our pumpkin paper mache how we like it. I uh, haven't done anything other than add, you know, multiple layers. I believe at this point we are 10 layers. So he's mostly dry. I'm uh, patching this area with a little extra paper mache. It was just a weak spot. I'll probably still do another layer or two. It happens. So, and this is one of the spots that, you know, gets a lot of weight on it. So, this is one of my kitties, Apollo. And the puppies are walking around underneath me right now. So 
now what I'm doing is I'm taking cardboard from like, you know, cereal boxes and cutting strips. And I'm taking the strips and I'm going to hot glue them right around the insides of the eyes here. Just so I have something to build up some of the uh, next process on here, some of the paper mache clay. A little more sturdier, gives them a little more expression. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Careful, of course, not to burn myself because hot glue really hurts. This is also starting some of this weatherproofing and sealing process because I want this pumpkin to be an outdoor prop. in here, I still want to seal it. I'm going to seal this now with hot glue. Hey guys, alright, this is the recipe for the paper mache paste. You use one cup of glue this is the Elmer's Glue All Multi-Purpose Glue. One cup of liquid starch. Six cups of all-purpose white flour. And seven cups of water. I use distilled water every time I use water in art just to help with any problems there might be with bacteria. You can add a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of cinnamon if you do not like the smell of the paste. Both act as a, a deterrent against mold. this guy dries, I'm going to mix up another batch of paper mache clay. We're going to use our paper mache paste that we made. That is the recipe, or the, I will put the recipe down below. We start with one cup of joint compound. And do six cups of your paper mache paste, and then two to three cups of water, I usually just start with two cups there first, drill beater for a handheld mixer, I like using this much better than a handheld mixer because those tend to burn out. This is the cellulose fiber. You can get a 
big bag of it at a home improvement store. I will put a link to that. You can also buy it on Amazon right now, but it is dusty if you have problems with that. Wear a mask, you can wear gloves. This is not like the old insulation, you know, that has glass or anything in it. But this is coated with like all insulation with a fire retardant. Use caution. And this is something you don't want to rush through. If you rush through it, you'll get too much fiber in it or not enough paper mache paste and it can get to a point where you can't really rectify it and it just becomes very uh, plasticized almost. Just taking your time with it, adding your fiber, your cellulose fiber, just slowly. You can do this by hand but it's very fatiguing. I try to make things easier. The consistency that you're looking for is a clay healing consistency. It's hard to give an exact measurement on this part because it just it just is. I've followed many recipes and when it comes down to it sometimes it's just easier to add little bits at a time. A little trick here, make sure all of your fiber is mixed in before you add more this tends to try to clump up together, so mix it well. At this point, you're getting close, but you'll know, it's like making like bread dough, you'll know when your pan starts to get a lot cleaner. I'm going to sit this in the fridge for a little bit and then I will use it on...
Hi guys. So we're to the point where we want to start sealing this pumpkin. I am using this Kills. It's a primer sealer. It's just what I had on hand. And I'm gonna coat this whole thing inside and out a couple times. So it will be ready for paint. I've sealed it all up. Everything looks really good. Have the primer sealer all on the outside and inside and then I hit him with some fluorescent yellow paint on the inside just so that he will glow better so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint him completely black okay this guy is ready to paint I'm gonna hit him with a outside coat of this really old matte outdoor uh, paint it's just a acrylic water-based paint that'll work just fine and then we will hit it with a brown this is autumn leaves an orange just orange and yellow flame and dry brush these colors on so I'm gonna get to it and uh, get this done let this dry and then I'm gonna start dry brushing on the brown next. When you're doing some dry brushing you want a kind of jacked up paintbrush. You want one that the bristles are all funky, you've used it to death, one that you don't love because you're gonna probably throw it away when you're done. Then you wanna put my paint on here and then I'll wipe it off. Alright, well, he is done. I may touch him up a little bit before I put the sealant on, but I think he's where I want him. After all, he's an outdoor prop. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching, and um, I will make another one, and probably a few more. Do a couple different techniques, 
I can go into an actual tutorial if anybody wants. Um, although there's a lot of those out there, so there's some good ones. Alright guys, meet Sammy. Sammy's gonna go meet the rest of the house. I will take some pictures and uh, yeah, it was fun. Thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be doing more larger projects like this in the future. I, My husband and I run a uh, Halloween haunt out of our home that we do for our friends and uh, we build props and stuff during that. Okay guys, I'm all done. He looks good. I'm gonna seal him one more time with some poly acrylic and uh, he's, he's he is good to go. He should be quite waterproof if he's not. I would be super surprised. So, no more, you know, paper mache deaths in this house. Or if you want to do this and you have any questions, just ask them below and I will uh, help to answer. I will be doing this size of project again here. It was tiresome, but it's super fun. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching.